The machine will be delivered today. A 10-ton forklift truck had to be procured. Not every company has one. It's also not that easy to drive. Then we unloaded the machine parts. We have to think about which part goes into the hull first, because we can't swap the parts around. The middle part is particularly heavy. The infeed and outfeed conveyor are then carefully and precisely aligned with the machine. Everything is securely and thoroughly connected, and the basic dimensions of the machine are precisely set. Then, trial processing begins along with the instruction for the employees on how to handle the machine. Approximately three days, and the installation should be completed. At the moment, we manually assemble the profiles, which means we still nail individual corner connectors and profiles together. The machine is supposed to revolutionize this, and we want to punch the corners all at once, meaning four corners simultaneously. Different systems, different installation depths, windows and doors. It is very flexible. First of all, no matter which employee is standing there, I have a basic quality, a good basic quality. While with the old corner connector machines, the skill of the employee was always necessary. The work preparation determines how the frame is punched, and the employee actually has no influence on making errors at the machine. He places it according to the display instructions, and the machine does everything else autonomously. Well, as everyone hears, at the moment there is, of course, an acute staff shortage, and we are trying to use automation in certain areas to save staff and deploy them elsewhere. The CC800 will optimize the production processes in such a way that we achieve a rhythm and establish a so-called material flow. And that's the challenge in metal construction, because in many areas the processes are still carried out by hand, so a timing is created. The aim of such a system can be to reduce the unit labor costs, in other words, the part of the costs in a Shuko unit that are attributed to wages, because I achieve higher output with fewer people. The second topic would naturally be to address the demographic change by making the industry itself more attractive. That means making the step from manufacturing operation loud and dirty to an industrial operation that is clean, where young people are also excited to work. I can say at this point that during the cooperation and implementation of the CC800 with Shuko, I have noticed a high level of professional competence. And this is also a bit of our and my personal credo to harmonize the expertise of a strong system house with that of a strong producer. We have succeeded here and I am proud of that.